So longtime fans of this show will remember that um, last week, a long time ago, we canceled trans YouTuber Samantha Lux, who posted a video attacking my best-selling LGBT novel, Johnny the Walrus, which is available for pre-order at johnnythewalrus.com. After I debunked Sam's debunking, many people in the comments informed me that YouTube is in fact full of videos criticizing my seminal work of children's literature, Johnny the Walrus, which is available at johnnythewalrus.com. They wanted to know why I only picked on good old Sam while leaving these other would-be debunkers unscathed. Well, as you know, I'm a big advocate for equity and inclusion. I would never want to single anybody out unfairly or leave, or leave anybody out unfairly. And so today, I'm going to go through all the other anti-Johnny the Walrus videos on the platform and cancel all of them. Now, we're not going to have time, unfortunately, to watch all these videos in their entirety, but we'll watch a short and hopefully representative clip from each, just so we get an idea of what they're all about, enough to demonstrate why they deserve to be canceled. Some of these videos are from accounts with lots of subscribers. Some of them have a subscriber base that includes their immediate families and nobody else. And some probably don't even have a fan base that large. But we're going we're to include the whole spectrum today because I think that's, that, that's the fairest thing. And again, this is about equity. So we begin with the YouTube channel Just a Lazy Gamer. Already you can appreciate the self-awareness at the very least. Let's see what Lazy Gamer has to say about uh, my book. Yes, Matt Walsh has decided to make a book hating on trans children because you know they got to get that hate speech in when they're young but here's the thing he's also decided to do the let's go brandon song bryson gray approach and go hey maybe you can get me in the top 10 and that'll that'll really show him if you, you give me your money and if we go to amazon he's already got 23 rating no verified purchasers of course because the book hasn't made it to anyone's door now this book is on Amazon. Amazon has rules against hate speech in their book. They have that in the rules. And I get the feeling he's hoping that this book gets banned on Amazon to play the victim even more, maybe after they get it up to like number 15 or whatever on a chart. And of course, he's selling signed copies for, I think it's $30 with $10 shipping. Because of course he is, because the grifting never stops. Um, okay, to begin with, he talks about there's a sign, signed copies. Thirty dollars for a signed copy is a steal. I'm, I'm literally the most prominent and respected LGBT children's author in American history, as well as the country's leading cult leader and the most generous philanthropist and abuela fundraiser of the 21st century. So my signature is worth thousands. Um, that I'd give it away for a measly thirty dollars just speaks again to my generosity, not to mention my humility. Furthermore, I, I take a great exception to the claim that we wanted to get banned from Amazon after reaching number 15 on the chart. That's absurd. We wanted to get banned after reaching the top five. We did get to the top five, but we didn't get banned. Instead, we just got banned from Target, which was a rather sort of disappointing um, runner-up prize. Finally, the book does not hate on trans kids, primarily because there's no such thing as trans kids. My issue is with the adults who have invented the category of trans kids. So if I'm hating on anyone, it's them because they're morally debased child abusers. Hopefully that clears that up. Now we have a YouTuber, Sam Collins. Sam has a larger presence on YouTube, over 800,000 subscribers. Let's see what Sam has to offer. And a simple procedure cuts feet into fins. The doctor wants to cut into Johnny and make him into a walrus. Ah, there it is. The whole mutilation thing. Because we chop ourselves up. Remember, when we have surgeries, we're mutilating ourselves and we're chopping ourselves up. It's also funny because this book is about a child. And I've said over and over again, and many trans people have said that children don't get surgeries. We could say it a thousand times, but these people still just choose not to believe what we say. It's really funny because this can be explained with just one simple thought. Children don't get surgery, right? How would you ever have surgery when you're not fully developed anyways? You can't cut this off if it's not there. So please explain to me how these children are getting surgeries. Uh, happily, I'll explain it. Uh, a few points here. First, no, I don't think that when trans people have surgery, they're mutilating themselves. Because if you have a trans person who has gallbladder surgery or gets their uh, ACL repaired or has heart surgery, I wouldn't call that mutilation. Surgeries that are meant to treat medical issues are not mutilation, no matter who's getting them. But a surgery that destroys a healthy body part or that slices open a healthy organ and flips it inside out is mutilation no matter who's getting it. 
By definition, that's mutilation. Now, if you don't believe me, let's go to the dictionary. Mutilation. Here's the, de- the, the definition. An act or instance of destroying, removing, or severely damaging a limb or other body part of a person or animal. So what happens to the penis during a sex chain surgery? What happens to a woman's breasts during top surgery? These parts of the body are either removed or destroyed. They are, by definition, mutilated. There's no denying this. Now, as for the claim that children don't get these procedures, that is, uh, for one thing, a lie. Minor girls do, in fact, have their breasts removed. It's very common. Happens all the time. Minor boys have even had their penises mutilated. That also happens. But even if that weren't happening, still, children are being conditioned to make those choices, quote unquote, later on in life. They're being put on that path, even though they don't understand the path they're on. And even if most boys aren't being physically altered through surgery, they are being given puberty blockers like Lupron, which is chemical castration. The same drug used to chemically castrate sex offenders. So your argument, Sam, is that the boys aren't being surgically castrated. They're just being chemically castrated. And even that argument, as insane as it is, is also factually wrong. The truth is that both things are happening. Now we turn to uh, YouTuber Justin, Justin Freakin. The guy's a, you know, he's a, he's a formidable voice in the culture. He has uh, 6,000 subscribers, averages easily over 30 views per video. And his channel description promises, quote, uncensored and unfiltered political talk and debate from a leftist perspective, the day's top news stories and videos with astute social commentary. I'm not sure if we can trust the part of astute social, the part about, you know, astute social commentary. I don't know about that. We'll find out in a minute. But we can be confident that it's uncensored. If this guy's a leftist, then certainly we can be assured that he has not been censored. So let's bring, uh, let's see what he brings to the table. Not as insane as Matt Walsh from the Daily Wire releasing a children's book. Here is Matt Walsh apparently getting some children together for story hour with sweet baby Matt Walsh. Okay. Hello, boys and girls. Yeah, the kids look about as enthused as we are. He didn't draw the f***ing cartoons, and that's the main part of the book. Like, passing yourself off as the author of this stupid book is insane. Because you know what this book is? This book is an actual talented illustrator. And then some dumb words on top of it. Honestly, I don't know why this guy doesn't get more views. I mean, he's like Macho Man Randy Savage. If Macho Man Randy Savage uh, could only bench press 45 pounds and was a hippie. But Randy has exposed a startling truth that I did not illustrate my own children's book. I have tried to keep this hidden by putting the illustrator's name on the cover. I was hoping to hide it in plain sight. And my plan almost worked until Seth Rogen's unemployed cousin foiled the plot. Um, all right, let's finish this up with a, with a somewhat larger account. This is uh, Vaush or Vash, I don't know how to pronounce his name. 30, 386,000 subscribers. His video is titled, Matt Walsh Reads His New Anti-Trans Book to Kids, and I Am Incredibly Uncomfortable. And the video's done pretty well for him. It's got nearly 150,000 views. Let's skip ahead to, uh, I think, what is, I guess, the crux of his argument against my book. Wait, what is the lesson at the... Wait, so wait, now is he bird gender? Wait, what is the... What does any of this mean? <laughs> What does any of this mean, man? Uh, no, he said earlier, people online told his mom a well-meaning mother was duped by evil transgender SJWs. Yeah, yeah, okay, but, like, what about the kid? Like, the kid didn't seem... After the kid said, I am a walrus, woo-woo, and had a picture taken of him, the kid had no input whatsoever. Did the kid want to eat the worms? If not, why didn't he stop? What was was the kid like? I don't want to eat the worms, and the mom was like, "No, you have to." The people on Instagram said that you have to, or I'm a big like. Pfft. I I I, I don't want to dig into this too hard because it's obviously really stupid. But I am genuinely astounded by the incompetence with which this was put together. Like they paid an artist. They had it published. Like it's on sale. Like how do you not put a little more effort? Not even just the quality of the art, but like the language used betrays such an incredible incompetence in using allegory to deliver a political message. 
That's true. I'm not good with language. I mean, we can't all be wordsmiths like uh, Vouch here, who says things like, the language used betrays such an incredible incompetence in using allegory to deliver a political message. Dude, why, why do you speak in real life like you're a ninth grader writing a book report and trying to hit a minimum word count? You, you think it's a bad allegory. Just say that. Though I'm not sure how you could judge the competence of the story or the allegory, considering you, by your own admission, don't understand the point. You're a grown adult who failed to grasp the extremely simple message in a rhyming children's book written on cardboard for preschoolers. And somehow you think that your failures of reading comprehension are an embarrassment to me. I mean, I am embarrassed watching this, but the embarrassment is of the secondhand variety, I assure you. The good news is that um, you seem to have almost understood the point. So you got to the 10-yard line intellectually before you fumbled the mental football. You nearly made it all the way there. Because you note how in the story, the mom is the focus, while the child, Johnny, has little input into his own alleged lifestyle choice. He's doing things, he's walking down a certain path, but it doesn't really seem like he's, he's choosing to go in that direction. Yes, Vouch, that's the point. That, that's exactly the point. That's what we're going for. The fact that Johnny's mommy is really the main character in a story that's ostensibly about Johnny himself is not an accident. That's a bit of intentional irony, very much an intentional creative decision by the brilliant author of this book, which is available at johnnythewalrus.com. It's almost as if I'm trying to make the point that transgenderism among children is once again an event, an invention of the adults around them. No child can actually choose this path. They don't have the psychological and emotional formation required to make an informed decision about fundamentally altering their identities. Any child, therefore, who, who does make such a decision decision, quote unquote, has been, by definition, pushed and pulled that way by the grownups in their lives. Do you understand now? Because I literally can't make it any simpler or plainer than that. The book is written at a reading level for kids who barely know how to read. So if that's still above your intellectual pay grade, I'm, I'm afraid there's, there's not much else I can do. Except say that you're canceled. Along with fake Randy Savage, Sam Collins, the rest of the YouTube hordes, who have all tried and failed to take down my book, Johnny the Walrus, which is available for sale at johnnythewalrus.com. Hey, listen, hit the subscribe button. Do it right now. I demand it. And I thank you for your compliance. It is somewhat appreciated.